I would prefer say that the Amazon is the hearth of the of the world. When we think about the hearth, uh, they pump a lot of uh, blood, and the blood is what make our life. Uh, the Amazon forest pump a lots of humidity for the atmosphere and help to uh, regulate the climate, not only here in South America, but all around the world. It's the place that we have the most uh, and they have the more kind of lives living there. It means we are talking about trees, animals, plants, and different type of organisms. A part of these, uh, there are more than 300 different indigenous groups living there, and uh, and there are relates of uh, more than a hundred groups that are isolated or in self isolation from the from the from the society. Unfortunately, this year we have uh, a, a, a most severe drop than last year that, we, that is making this drop the most uh, severe uh, than, than ever. Just uh, to give an idea how uh, large and how severe is the, this drop, when we get uh, the six major basins of different rivers, that make uh, the Amazon River, uh, we have five of them are below the historical uh, level of draw, and one, the Solimões uh, Basin, is in the lowest level ever recorded uh, since its start. Greenpeace make a, a pacific protest in the draw uh, Solimões River to bring attention of those that are responsible for all the climate crisis that we are living, not only here in Brazil, in the Amazon, but all around the world. The big industry of oil and gas knows for several dec decades that they are, pro they are uh, causing the climate uh, changing and try to refuse or to not release this information. It's time that this industry to be responsible for all the acts that bring us to this climate crisis and stop to drilling and start to pay all the effects that they are causing because of the exploration of oil and gas. We have a huge mortality of fishes and uh, and uh, aquatic mammals uh, last year and these years. They will take a very long to the recovery of these animals. We have to know that the rivers in the Amazon are the life of the people. These people use the water for, of the rivers for everything, to drink, to cook, to make the day-by-day -day, uh, activities and they are the roads and the streets of the Amazon. Without uh, the rivers, with the rivers very rough, this affects the access of the people for, for the communities to the city.
have to, to think that what happening in the Amazon do not stay in the Amazon. The climate do not see frontiers, do not see barriers. If we lost the Amazon, if we keep uh, the drought happening, the mortality of the forest, this will change uh, the climate and the people all around the world will be affected. Without the most Amazon forest, we will not be able to keep in, uh, the temperature uh, lower than 1.5 degrees as we know that is the limit to not have more and more uh, climate crisis. First of all, uh, we have to mobilize ourselves and asking for our uh, government to uh, abound the incentives of the trialing uh, of our oil and gas and start to push that the companies have uh, to pay for all the crisis climate that they are doing. People all around the world can put pressure that uh, all the promise made in big climate meetings really stop to say and start to put the money that are, are promised to help uh, the undeveloped countries to dealing with the climate crisis and uh, to help to preserve the, all the biodiversity that we have in the Amazon forest, but in all other natural ecosystems around the world. Mm -hmm.